Gutenberg, and I um, want to make a video series on how to program for somebody who's never programmed before. So um, what we're going to start out with is we're going to start out with Linux Mint. Um, it's a distribution of Linux, and uh, the reason why we're doing that is there's a lot of tools and an environment, I think, that's very conducive to learning programming, and I think you'll really like it. So if you've never used Linux before, it's okay. I'll show you how to do it inside Windows, so you won't have to dual boot or do any of that funky stuff. But the very first thing we need to do is use VirtualBox. So I've already uh, pulled up the website here. It's at virtualbox.org. So I'm going to get my recorder ready so I can pause during the download. So um, I download for Windows. I think we're using, I'm in uh, Windows 10 64-bit. So I'm going to grab the 64-bit edition. So I'm going to download it here. Save. And while it's downloading, I'm going to pause. So uh, we're done downloading. So let's click this uh, executable file here, and we will install. We're just going to use the default option because we don't need to do any of this fancy stuff right now. Um, I do believe it. Yeah, we might. We're going to probably have to install Python, but not right now. So let's. Uh, we'll just let it do all its normal stuff. I'm not going to do anything special here. So proceed and install. Let it do its thing. I'm going to pause right now. There we go. Hey, yes, it popped up a box. I don't know if you saw that and asked me if I wanted to do it. I do trust Oracle. You know, surprise, surprise. You know, <laughs> I, I have, a lot, I have uh, people I know who aren't, who aren't fans of Oracle. So. Okay, so um, it'll start it up here. And let it go. Okay, so this is the box here you should be seeing. So now we need to get Linux Mint. So we'll do Linux have it here for me. Linux Mint. Go to the download button. We're going to do 17.3, which is Rosa. It's the new one. Um, and we're going to grab Cinnamon. That's my favorite one. You can grab another one if you want, because what we're going to be doing, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to grab a Cinnamon 64-bit. <coughs> and then I'll probably just do... Let's see. Uh, let's do Fusion Cloud. So download Fusion. We'll go here. We'll go to our download. We'll save. This is a pretty big file, so I'm going to pause where this downloads, all right? Once you have it here, let your download start, and then I'm going to pause, and I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back. We have uh, Linux Mint 17.3 downloaded. So now we're going to do create a new virtual machine here. We'll just call it Mint. It's a Linux distribution. It's a type. If this doesn't select Mint, uh, it doesn't select Linux, you click on it and select Linux. Uh, Mint is a um, Ubuntu, a Debian type um, distribution, so we'll select De uh, Ubuntu 64-bit. The next, uh, I have eight gigs of memory, so I'm going to give Mint four gigs of that, eight gigs. Really, you should have at least give it two gigs. I really recommend at least four. And um, so, if you don't have that, um, it'll be okay, but it might you might have uh, some issues. The operating system might try and access your hard drive for um, for caching and whatnot. But anyway, so give it four gigs, um, and then we're going to create a create a virtual hard drive here. So one, something to mention is this hard drive is not accessible. Your, your your actual hard drive is not accessible by Mint unless you let it be accessible. So don't worry about, um, sometimes you'll see things like format hard drive and whatnot. It's only formatting this virtual drive. So don't worry about it. It's not going to touch your Windows operating system or any of the files on, on your operating system. Just a quick note. So create it. We'll just do a VDI. Normally I do a, a VMDK because as you see here I, I use a virtual box. Or I'm sorry, VMware. Um, but that's, that's this is this is paid for and, and uh, um, virtual box is free, so anyway, um, I, I do recommend if you want to pony up the cash for it, the VMware is well worth it. Anyway, so we'll do a VDI here. We'll do a fixed size, and we'll do I don't know, let's do like 15 gigs is fine. You know, we don't, you don't need anything too big. So we're just doing programming. We don't need to install a whole lot. Actually, no, we'll we'll, we'll do it 20. Let's let's do 20. So 20 gigs. I'm gonna create now. Depending on your machine, this may take a second, so I'm going to pause while it does it, alright? So we'll see you guys in a second. And we're back. So after it's done creating the virtual drive here, it comes up to the screen here. So now you want to set up your uh, virtual box real quick. You want to hit the setup button, and you go into your storage. You're going to save a copy of the drive here. You're going to grab the Linux Mint OS, like so. And we'll keep the amount of Okay, it won't load. Oh, actually, the one thing, one more thing too. If you have a, um, a graphics card, you might want to come over to the display button if you're new, like 3D Pro. Okay. Then you go 
clip and say, "Here's our team of the month." And I'll only do that kind of to promote the game that we're doing. If you're brand new, I'd say come to Blizzard. Okay, we're gonna hit the start button here. That's gonna bring us to the virtual box. Give it a second. There we go. box and see where our justice sink will do that so it's actually not safe to do that if you're running a vmware you have to install the vmware tools and those are easy to throw up all over our home and yard but i believe it's a password to get that so let's install those commits here now this is a um a in memory uh, operating system here it's not actually running the mission itself so this is kind of a use that you can get in here and mess around with the mission see if you like it we haven't actually installed it yet. Let's see, let's see what's in this. Uh, well, actually, it is, it's not a system I powered, it's actually just a VMware system. Uh, Ralph Pro. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. I'm gonna rake the whole disk over, I said earlier about this being a virtual disk. This is not your actual hard drive, this is the disk you've created for the mission. So we're actually just pulling this over here. Install button. Created a swap file and and put it in the uh, in the hard drive to pull stuff that's in the operating system here. This is the address of the operating system. Continue. Load. And uh, continue to load. Continue. Oh, my, my time's up. Use the start to end on this. Continue. Normally, if you if you're actually installing it on a disk, it will just start back up again. Okay, and we're gonna watch what it's actually doing. We're gonna press that button there, watch it install. I'm gonna pause it while I keep going. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so mint finished, and this is the screen you get afterward. So now I'm gonna hit restart. Give it a second restart. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, actually, let me close this down real quick. We'll do um, some, well, the power off the machine. So we'll go into settings, go into storage. I think it's good to go. Oh, it, is, oh, it already moved. Okay, I didn't realize it did that. Okay, well, while we're here, let's uh, go into, where is it at here? Processor. I want to give it another processor because um, I have eight, and so I'd rather just get a couple because it would speed it up a little bit. Go. I'm gonna start it up. We're almost done. Loading, loading. So now you have Mint installed on Windows. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and uh, share it with your friends. Hey, thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video, we're going to be learning how to set up Windows, or excuse me, Mint for C++. Thank you.